noise of the battlefield subsides. It seems almost suddenly, and all is quiet as the weary troops regroup. Fortunately, there were no casualties because, as you may have guessed, that wasn't a real battle. To put you in the picture, in both senses, that's Lord Lovett, the famous wartime commando leader, talking to Peter Lawford, who portrays him in a film about the historic D-Day landings. We're concerned with just one aspect of the landings, the daring glider raid on the Conn Canal and Orme River bridges, led by Major John Howard, portrayed by Richard Todd, who actually did take part in the same battle. The troops in this reconstruction of the battle are not only getting some useful training, but also reenacting part of their own regimental history. For it was the gallant 52nd, now part of the first Green Jackets, which carried out the raid and so became the first formed body of troops to land in Europe on D-Day. It was the objective of Major Howard and his Gliderborn infantry to capture and hold the two vital bridges until Lord Lovett's commandos arrived. It was this bridge over the Orme River, remembered as Pegasus Bridge, which was occupied by the glider force and paratroops early in the morning of June the 6th, 1944, and held for 13 crucial hours. One of the many grim illustrations of the truth of General Rommel's prediction that this would be, for both sides, the longest day. Here, the film cameras recapture that typically British situation, the formal handshake in the most unlikely place. Lord Lovett, I presume. In a reconstruction of this kind, it's difficult to know which is make-believe and which is the real thing. In any case, it pays to keep your head down and take no chances. German resistance at an end, the invading troops led by Lovett and his personal bagpiper, who, it was often said, annoyed our troops as much as the enemy, lined up and formally marched over Pegasus to continue the fight elsewhere. Only a film, you might say, but nevertheless an exciting and moving incident from Britain's proud heritage.